algorithms video and in this one here we're looking at the skeleton right let's look at the skeleton itself so here we have the skeleton and over here we've got Einstein and as Einstein says there are about 206 bones in the human body now this is not showing all of them here and actually you don't need to learn all of these so let's have a look now let's draw the pen let's have a look what she do need to know so some of these are quite common so let's uh, sorry let's go to the skull let's pick up the pen again so the skull I think you need to know so skull is one we'll circle that is one you need to know then coming down we've got um, you should know the jaw the jaw bones we should know this one is called the collarbone the collarbone is called your clavicle okay then we've got this bone here and this is called the breastbone or sternum it's good if you can learn some of these technical terms so though we can call it the breastbone its technical term is sternum now we've then got the bones of the arm the upper arm bone is called the humerus now that one's called humerus you should know that if you hit your elbow here it's not very very funny but it's called the funny bone because it's humerus you've also got lower bones you've got the um, the ulna which is the lower bone and the radius these are the two bones here in the lower arm worth knowing those two as well coming down you've got the pelvis the pelvic bones you don't need to know individual just know them as a pelvis you've then got the thigh bone which is called the femur you've got the kneecap called the patella then you've got the lower leg bones the tibia and the fibula so if you can learn all the ones I've actually highlighted there that's a really really good start okay let's look at the bone itself now bone itself okay has its own blood supply. We can see over here we've got blood vessels that are providing nutrients in the bone and taking away waste materials. So bone is living. It's living tissue with its own blood supply and there's two parts to it. There's the strong outer layer. Now if you drink lots of milk you'd do well because it builds up the bones. So you've got a strong outer layer with lots of calcium that actually makes the bone strong and rigid. But you've also got the softer spongy inner layer and we'll look at the importance of this a little bit later on. Now, sometimes we have breaks. Wow, this is looks rather, let's pick up the pen again. This looks to me to be rather a nasty break. You see it there? Now, that is a break of the humerus or upper arm bone. Break or you may hear the term fracture. Both those terms mean the same thing to a doctor. Okay, but the wonderful thing about the skeleton is it can repair itself if a bone is broken and if you've ever had a broken bone hopefully it's repaired itself properly amazing property of bone the skeleton has actually got four main functions first of all supporting the body secondly protecting some of the vital organs of the body thirdly helping the body to move and fourthly making blood cells let's look at each one of those in turn firstly we've got the fact the skeleton supports the body the skeleton provides a rigid framework for the body. It's as though the muscles and organs were put onto like scaffolding, if you like. The skeleton is like a scaffold that holds the body upright. For example, without a backbone, we've been able to stand up. And all soft tissues, muscles and organs are supported by the body. Secondly, the skeleton helps protect vital organs. And over here we can see, here's the skull. Okay, let's just call it a pen again. So here we've got um, the skull. Okay, this bit's the skull and this bit protects the brain. You've then got the rib cage. This is the rib cage down here. Rib cage helps protect the heart and the lungs. And also you've got, you can see it there, the backbone. The backbone protects the spinal cord. These are vital organs. Okay, if your brain is damaged or heart or lungs, really serious consequences. Notice that some of the organs, like the stomach, large intestine, do not have such protection. But these are the vital organs and these need protection. Thirdly, thirdly, we've got um, the bones helping the body to move. So some bones are joined to each other by flexible joints. So what we've got there, um, we've got here you've got your knee joint, okay? Here you've got your hip joint you've got your elbow joint there and here you've got your shoulder joint now, all of those okay are where muscles are attached to bones and they help the bones to move other bones such as the skull are fixed and cannot move let's go back just a slide now we talked about the um, the skull 
the skull is what we call a fixed joint because you can see here see here these lines these show where the skull was joined together when you were born these were not joined together these not joined together they could move which means that when you were being born through the birth canal the skull was flexible uh, but as you got older these fused together to form a fixed joint and they help protect so some joints are fixed but some like the shoulder the hip are there to help us to move and the last function of the um, the skeleton is to make red blood cells. Now here's the bone marrow. The bone marrow is found here, okay, inside. Remember we talked earlier about living tissue? So both white and red blood cells are made in what we call the bone marrow, which is what something your dog will love. This is soft tissue, which we mentioned earlier, found inside larger bones such as the femur, which is the thigh bone. Okay, well that is the skeleton. Now we've got two um, key words we need you to know at this point. We've got bone marrow. So bone marrow, okay, tissue found inside some bones where new blood cells are made and joints, places where bones meet. So you need to jot those down into your books and make sure you understand those key words. Well that's the end of this Key Stage 3 science video. Thanks ever so much for watching. I really do hope you like what you see. And if you do like what you see, why not visit my website at www.keystage3sciencecourses.com. There you'll find over 120 science videos you can subscribe to. So once again, thanks for watching and bye bye for now.